attached to each other to always meet at least in winners finals, if not in grants. So we'll have to see if that holds true or if Beast can provide the upset. And to be quite honest, Beast has been on fire lately, both in PA and beyond. And I don't mean just because he took out Fatality. He's been taking names across multiple regions, whether in Tri-State or beyond. Right, right. Now, this is going to be a pick from uh, Zamba that you probably weren't expecting. You're probably expecting the Rob to come out. We are actually going to be seeing the Joker. Now, it's been a pretty well-known fact that Zamba is going through a bit of a character crisis right now, looking for a solid secondary to be able to deal with the Pyra Mithra. And it looks like Joker was their character of choice. But you got to keep in mind that one of the best Tri-State Jokers resides in the Philadelphia region where Beast is from. I'm, of course, talking about Mercury. So he's going to be pretty well-established and well-regarded in this match. And what else? Ooh, hello there with the callouts. It is Joker can attend to what Zombo really loves to do as a player. It is those callouts combined with an intense neutral that Zombo really touts and can really expose a ton of players with. Especially if he's moving like this, getting the drag downs into the gun, but Beast mashing out thanks to the fly. It is a. It was a. Amazing reversal on Beast's part, but he's gonna need more than a few of those in order to make this back, especially with Arsene on deck, the first of the set, and not going to waste at all with that down air into up smash yet on the platform. You always need to be looking out for those confirms whenever the Arsene is active. That down air stomp is almost as good as Falcon's. Actually, it might even be better. Uh, if, if the second hitbox wasn't so inconsistent. But then again, you know, this PS2 pick is really helping them play around these platforms as well. Uh, doing a good job of not overextending off stage, using the guns to poke, and then recognizing when they're kind of routed a little bit. Beast looking for anything possible to try to take the stock. They get the back throw, turning into the Ivy Store, and they're looking for something. But again, Zamba's just playing so darn safe that it's looking near impossible for them to lose their stock at this rate. And what always comes to mind with Joker as yet another parry comes out on these up airs. What always comes to mind with Joker is innate flexibility. Character can move extremely well and has a lot of tools that can be used in it, very least two ways, if not more. So what separates Zamba from a player like Mercury, who are both impressive in their own right, is that the characters they're playing can be touted and driven in completely different ways. And Zamba is showing a much different style of Joker, who's playing at this mid to close range a lot more, trying to take advantage of Joker's shield pressure uh, as akin to Mercury, who loves their gunplay. Exactly, yeah, I, I couldn't agree more there, buddy. And the, uh, another big thing is that they're just not, like, I never see them overextend at all. Mercury tends to go for some brazen backers off stage, or maybe it's just some bold onstage shenanigans. But right now, this neutral that Zamba's playing is so, it, it's, he's kind of playing like a matador. And playing around Beast, you absolutely need to adapt a style like that. Bait them in, and then try to punish them at all times. Yeah, well, Beast might be seeing blue. It may sure he doesn't see red as this Arsene gets spawned. And it was the death sentence of Joker to see that Arsene off stage against a solid spike like Charizard. You know, it's not <laughs> impossible. <laughs> We've it's seen worse. It's definitely not. If you know anything about Beast, all he needs uh, is one yeah. back throw back air. But that up air is going to be doing it. it. It wasn't bad DI. It was just the fact that Charizard was at over 200% yeah, on those platforms like that. <laughs> at that same level. So now Zamba's going to take that one. And uh, they're putting themselves up in the set. And you know what I loved about the game one that we saw there, Laird? Was the fact that Beast acknowledged his win condition right from the final, as soon as the final stock dropped. He saw he was at 200 and didn't flinch. In fact, approached with an up tilt and attempting to anti-air Zomba's jump. That means we know Beast is tuned in and this game two could go completely differently if the Squirtle doesn't get hard negated like he did in game one. Zomba has a clear, uh, has a clear sense of how to play against these tiny characters. And even though Joker has some history with some uh, struggles against smaller statures, Zomba's not letting it slide. No, I, absolutely not. The character, a player like Zamba won't let anything like that go. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people know Zamba for the Rob, but they actually do have a plethora of other characters that they can pull out. I'm, of course, referring to their Roy that they pull out on some occasions, the Link. And now the Arsene is going to be, or excuse me, the Joker is going to be added to that repertoire as well. So, you know, this guy, who a lot of people are like, oh, might be carried by Rob. That's probably why he's getting such good results. Not so. No, very, not very right. talented fundamentally Ooh. as well. There's that forward air into the, uh, into the Vine Whip, and Beast has a couple of characters of his own, but this is 
The PT is the bread and butter, the, the Charizard even more specifically. Though back throw, looking for a potential air dodge read, but Zamba not giving to him, in, in fact, scrapping off stage. Zamba has a general, both of these players have met in plenty of bracket and have a good feeling of some of the bread and butters each other likes to go for, it, but nothing's gonna escape that Charizard and up smash if you're trying to mix oh, above shield. Very nice. Yeah. But see, this is the thing about Beast. This is the Beast effect, all right? No matter how high of a percent they are, they are not rattled ever. And he will always go for whatever he can to take the stock as quickly as possible with Charizard. Rage is, is a benefit to him, not a detriment, as uh, some people might expect. Looking for a couple two frames with that down tilt. Percents are starting to even up as Zamba continues to play this mid-range dash back kind of game, which Joker does so well thanks to that low dash and incredible evasiveness. He's gonna start pecking away, but the downer comes in. Though Beast trying to push this advantage, switch to the Ivysaur. Zamba just so cool, calm, and collected. He can beat you with a plethora of characters and he can more than likely beat you with your own main as frustrating as that is for this kid. The talent is obviously there as he whittles away at Beast's lead little by little. The Zard oh. is out though, and there's the up there on the platform. It is gonna be killing with the uh with the meteor or, I forgot what that's called, the uh, the Seismic star KO. Pulse. There it is. Yeah. Oh shout outs to Pokemon. Gen 9 and all that. Scarlet and Vi Scarlet Violet, right? That's a, Yeah. That's a, I think so. I don't know. I just Those like the new ones. I, I like the I like the the ghost pepper crocodile. I think he's funny. Me too. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Tabasco. <laughs> I love it. It's, that's so good. <laughs> but speaking of speaking of Tabasco, Charizard looking a little spicy right now at a very high percent, and Arsene is out as well. So if that down air connected, we could have possibly seen a stock. But then again, it's gonna be the Akarakon to take that stock. That counter is obscenely powerful. Almost oh. as strong as Sephiroth's, but man, it doesn't kill if you hit a strong hit like that. Oh, and poking away with these f tokes the lead has shifted right back into Zamba's favor. Beast might be regretting not waiting on the Angel platform for a little bit. It's the risk you take. Gets that forward air one into back air. Beast really attempting to land aggressively. Does find the grab. Yet no follow-up afterwards, and Zamba gets on the grab of their own. So many of these grabs come out from Zamba. And this, is, this entire set as Beast yet again looks for the high roll he punish. Beast really needs to kind of stay on stage whenever he throws Zamba off stage. Ooh. Here's the big thing. You, you definitely need to you keep some ground under your feet sometimes. But then again, Beast does just that. Gets the up smash. Not the first hit, but the second hit. It won't kill. And then goes for that up air with that big long neck. And that's an option you don't see too often, but no one employs it as well as Beast does. Yeah, character mastery to a T, especially when it comes to the not Dragon Dragon. The funny thing, the thing I always think about with Beast's style of play is exactly as I mentioned prior, high rolly. If anybody is a fan of their uh, of their gambling, as we've got the slot machine Rob coming out from Zamba. Beast is always looking for these maximized punishes and extensions off of air dodge and they're trying to read your soul. But Zamba switching over to the Rob means they're going they're gonna be getting that level of consistency, going a character that they have played for a very long time at a very, very high level. And one of those matchups that Pokemon trainer just hates so much. Yeah, you know, as as Beast uh, is probably feeling right now, you are quite ready for uh, the Joker whenever you play that for two matches in a row. And now you have to deal with a completely different character in a completely different matchup, being played by a player who is super familiar with this character at all levels of play. You need to be on your A game. You need to not let any bad whiffs go punished. You need to just play your game better than Zamba can, or you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, I like that he stayed on Squirtle for a prolonged period of time, knowing that Squirtle was the best chance to oppress Zamba's Rob and not staying on the Ivysaur at all. Ivysaur a little bit too slow and gets uh, gets beaten out by Robin full screen. It's going to be the Charizard and it's going to be the Squirtle show, fire and water. And right now the Blazing Tail does take the first stock for Beast who's hunting for that upset. Yet the Air Dodge read is not going to be enough for Zamba who just barely whips his punish. I, I love that Zamba went for that too. You gotta keep him honest sometimes. Sometimes not going for the confirm is, is the best thing you can do because it opens your opponent up for an even saucier punish. Zamba recognized that, but Beast was just a little bit too reticent to pull up that shield. 
And, uh, you know, they were able to take the stock eventually, but Zamba is still struggling right now to get this lead back. Well, there it is. You get a couple uh, combos <laughs> yeah. and a couple... Spoke too soon there, baby. It, commentator's curse. It happens all the best of us, but that is not going to happen to Beast, avoiding the side special and trying to get a turnaround of his own. Great DI on Zamba's part, though, to avoid the platform extension as Zamba lands his up smash. Looking to close out this stock, the Ivysaur proving to be a little bit of a liability as Rob just sent, is able to outpace this green cabbage dog and not gonna be burned alive now. Wow, I, I gotta admire the uh, the grittiness there of Beast. Beast has been, you know, avoiding all these kill confirms, avoiding the down tilt setups, avoiding all that stuff. Again, as I say it, he gets hit by one. Inevitability. So, you know, he just hates me, <laughs> complimenting him, I guess. Ooh, I like the idea of there. Again, both these players really hunting air dodges. As both of them have given them up a couple of times, but not at the proper moments. Both of these players having really good sense of having really good game sense on the timing of these things. But as we get into the final, uh, as we reach the four minute mark of this match, Beast is finding themselves whittled and whittled away. Zamba not even reaching the sentry mark on their second stock and all of these grabs. I, it was noticeable with the Joker, but even more so with this Rob, who's able to get their non-fingered non grip right on them, forcing an aerial approach all of these times from Beast, trying to stay off the ground because Shield was consistently called out. Not in that case, though. As soon as Beast took to the air, that's when the, Zamba, the Zamba's patented back air can